1 Peter 2, you are a chosen generation. That means you're actually chosen in, say with me, I am chosen in my generation. I'm a chosen generation. No, you're chosen in your generation. For such a time as this, you've come to the kingdom. You are in your generation and you are chosen by the Lord and you are set apart by the Lord and you are endowed by the Lord to do his purposes in this world. You are chosen in this generation. Yeah. And you know, I'm, I, you know I, I like to say it all the time, but the Lord doesn't, doesn't accept ignorance as an excuse. He does not. He does not. He does not accept, well, I didn't know. You will not account for your sin, Christian, but you will account for unto reward. The Lord is looking to reward you. Well done, good and faithful servant. Isn't that right? Yes. Right? Well, that, you didn't, most people, I didn't do anything. Well, how did I serve you? I just gave my life to Jesus. That's all I did. Well done, good and faithful servant. God's looking to reward us. We are accountable for what he has given to us. And we're accountable to not live narcissistic lives. The church teaches people to live only in the now. And the church teaches people to be self-focused. That is not the gospel at all. That is the American gospel. But that is not the kingdom gospel at all. We, you and I, are called to always, always, always live with eternity in mind always heaven is in your sight i live every day of my life knowing i will stand before this king i know it i know it i will stand before this king then he will ask me what did you do with what i gave you kevin because he's not going to condemn me but he's going to reward me i refuse i absolutely refuse to come before this king empty-handed and you know what the sad part is 90 plus percent of Christians will stand before this king and they will have no tribute. They will have offered him nothing. Zero. 18% of the church tithes. Jesus said, I'll reward you for the tithe. They can't even tithe. Bring a child to me. You don't even want to bring your coworker. Bring a kid. Get your kid to bring another kid. Bring a child in my name. I'll give you a reward. We can't even do that. This is the sad reality of, our, of, of, of where we are. If our gospel is not producing transformative change, then what we're preaching is wrong. If our gospel is producing nothing but narcissism, nothing but Instagram friends, and everybody's flexing on Instagram, you know, ooh, 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 but, you're, but you're, there's just a hollowness. There's no substance to your faith whatsoever, and there's no fruit. This is what we have to come to terms with. How do you do that? The first thing you come to do is you just slap yourself around and you say, I will not live for myself. I live for his kingdom. I'm at your service, Lord. What do you desire of me? What do you want from me? Watch what happens when you start asking Jesus what he wants and watch as you develop in that relationship how he starts asking you what you want. We all want, you know, we all think Jesus is wanting to know what we want. Watch what happens. When you start giving him what he wants, nobody does business with God and breaks even. Seek first the what? This is right, this is the verse is right there. The kingdom doesn't seek. Seek first the gospel. No. No, no. Seek first the? Say it again. Seek first the? Right. And what is right to God. And then everything will what? That's right. That's right. We are chosen in our generation. We are a royal priesthood. You are royalty, chosen in a generation, as a priest. What does that mean? It means we minister unto Jesus. Jesus ministers unto us, and then we minister unto the world. This is what priestly ministry is. Before the priest ministered to the people, he, must first, he or she must first minister to the Lord. Ministry to the people is irrelevant unless you first minister to the Lord. Because when you minister to the Lord, the Lord ministers to you. You, see, you hear me say it all the time. What do you want, Lord? What do you want to say? How do you want to do this? What is it that you want from me? What do you want to say to these people? You know, I got some ideas, but you got better ideas, right? I got some counsel, but you're a lot smarter than me. This is your house. This is your people. This is your ways. What is it that you want? And then he tells me. And then I, I do my best to take what he tells me and deliver it. That's priestly ministry. And all y'all are called to that. 
all of you, and you begin to minister unto the Lord. Worship is ministry unto the Lord. That's why when you're sitting here, you think we're just singing songs, right? You sit back and you rock, you know, you check your phone, you know, see if anybody's texting me when there's worship in the room. Do you understand that worship isn't about you? It ministers unto him. And in ministry unto him, I don't like to lift my hands. It's not my thing. I don't come from that tradition. Slap, slap, church culture. Lift your hands. Let's just do it right now. Just do it. Shoot them up. Yada. Do it like. Just do it. Yada. Yada. Right? That's the praise. Yada. Shoot the hands. Shoot them up. Come on. Put them up. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You say, I feel embarrassed. Do you know what the root word of humble is? Same root word? Humiliation. Don't tell me you're not humble. Don't tell me you're humble if you don't feel humiliation. Because those two words are exactly the same. Which means awkwardness is part of the deal. Awkwardness. We're, now, we're, we don't do that in America. You know, we like everything like this. You know, everything's kind of like, like that. But it's not my thing. It's Jesus' thing. You're a priest. You're called to minister unto him. I remember telling the Lord before. He's like, it's not, I'm like, it's not my thing. It's not my thing, Lord. That's not my thing. And he's like, it's my thing. And I went. Just that little word caused me to pause and take stock of everything I was thinking about. I'm like, wait a second. This isn't my thing, but it's Jesus' thing. And so I was like, do I want my thing? <laughs> or do I want Jesus' thing? 